Okay, let's consider problem 6.53 of Sontag in which we have a small turbine. Let me draw the figure. It is in the book. Like this. This goes to a turbine. There is some work output from the turbine. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So it is operated at part load by throttling. So it is operated at part load by throttling a 0.25 kg per second steam supply at 1.4 megapascal. So state 1 P1 is equal to 1.4 megapascal at 250 degrees Celsius. It is throttled down to 1.1 megapascal. State 2. P2 is 1.1 megapascal and because it's a throttling process H2 is equal to H1 this has been discussed in the previous problem I suggest you have a look at them before asking why this is true this is true for a throttling 1 to 2 okay so after it is throttled to 1.1 megapascal it enters the turbine and the exhaust is at 10 kilopascal so 3 P3 is at 10 kilopascal and the work output is equal to so this is total work it is equal to 110 kilowatt what is the exhaust temperature and quality if it is saturated T E or X E equal to what? So first things first let us first find out the inlet state at 2 the inlet state to the turbine is the state at 2 ok for the turbine assume that there is no heat transfer so using this and steady state steady flow process 0 equal to q dot plus mi dot hi plus me dot he so this should be minus minus mi dot minus w dot so mi dot is equal to me dot is equal to 0 0.25 kg per second because there is only one mass flow and the inlet to the turbine is the state 2 so h2 minus h3 times m dot is equal to w dot using this equation so we already know what h2 is h2 is equal to h1 so h2 is equal to h1 minus h3 so this I have written using throttling is equal to w dot by m dot so this is equal to 110 kilowatt by 0 0.25 kg per second so then h3 is equal to h1 minus 440 this is equal to 440 kilojoule per kg now h1 is the enthalpy at 1.4 megapascal and 250 degrees celsius so h1 known so we simply find out what h3 is once we know what h3 is we can use the fact that p3 is equal to 10 kilopascal so we will know what h3 is then we can find out the temperature or the quality so because of our early calculation we have been able to reduce the problem to a very simple state rather than finding out what the state 2 is and then what the state 3 will be we have used here the appropriate assumption of throttling this step this step has given us the step reduction so problem what is the problem number 6.53 of Sondag 
turbine with an upstream throttle valve H3 is equal to H1 minus W dot by M dot W dot is equal to 110 m dot is equal to 0.25 h1 equal to enthalpy of what's the working fluid it's steam steam at t equal to 250 and p equal to 1400 because this is the state 1 okay so h3 is found out to be 2486 kilojoule per kg now let's see x3 equal to quality of steam at p equal to 10 and h equal to h3 this gives me x3 equal to 0.9593 this means that it is in the sub saturated dome the final is in the saturated dome so the corresponding t3 will be equal to temperature of steam at p equal to 10 h equal to h3 the final temperature is equal to 45.79 degrees celsius it went straight from 250 degrees celsius to 45.79 degrees celsius suppose i want to plot everything let me convert everything into an array this will make the process clearer this is this has nothing to do with the actual solution this is for my own mental peace okay p3 is equal to 10 kilopascal okay okay my es just crashed i think okay anyway just to give you a heads up this is how the process should look like and you should verify this yourself unfortunately my ES has crashed ES is not exactly robust on Linux hmm so what should we plot it on okay let's do it on a TV process initially so the final state was found out to be in the saturated dome so the initial state this is the isobar initial state would be somewhere here it is then throttled to some state here so 1 to 2 H is constant ok after that it is expanded in the turbine so because of that it has gone into superheated into the vapor dome so this is 0.3 it was very close to 0.95 something okay so this is the 0.3 this is how the process should look like in the TS diagram in the TS diagram the first process is like this this is the ISO bars again so this is the first process this is process 1 to 2 1 to 2 is ice enthalpic and then 2 to 3 is isentropic 2 to 3 is turbine which is insulated if I assume it is reversible adiabatic it should look something like this but of course the work output is specified in this problem so it may not be exactly like this if it was an ideal turbine it would go along s equal to constant if it was an ideal turbine it would follow this line because of deviations from idle idealness that is the turbine is not reversible it would move something along this line final state is very close to being a vapor it is it is something of the uh, something close to 0 0.95 okay 
okay i hope uh, the concept of the problem is clear it's a steady state steady flow process with no heat transfer the because it is throttled before entering the into the turbine this is a throttling process so states 1 and 2 have the same enthalpy 2 and 3 are related with the control volume of a turbine so for a turbine mi dot me dot the difference between me dot and mi dot gives me the work so i have used the first law to find out the exit enthalpy using the exit enthalpy i can then using the exit enthalpy and the exit pressure i have found out what the other quantities are so you must use all the information that you have it would have been better if i could have plotted the tv diagram or the ts diagram but anyway you should try to do it on your own okay.